Go ahead and slate for the camera. Hi, I'm Tess Robinson, and I'll be doing the VA. And whenever you're ready. Do you know what synesthesia is? Uh, stimulation of one sensory or cognitive pathway leading to automatic involuntary experiences in a second sensory or cognitive pathway? Like someone who can smell color. That's right. Well, I have. Oh, do you? Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so did they come to oh, Well, in addition to color graph and synesthesia, I also have this more exotic offshoot called mirror touch, mm -hmm. where I, I have these vivid responses to people's physical experiences, pain, stimulation, whatever they feel. It's echoed in me. Echo. We all have these mirror neurons that fire when we act or observe the same action in others. Like when someone yawns and it triggers <coughs> the yawn in you, you know what I'm talking about. With me, the mirror neurons stimulate sensory neurons to fire at abnormally high level, like all the time. <laughs> so, 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 so with patients, okay, you see something. You feel an echo? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And based on that, you get a hunch. Not just a hunch, I'm talking about a strong hunch. I am basing this on extra data that I actually have available to me. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, sure. Well, I'm super smart. Okay. And I can expedite an MRI by pushing my tits out. Really? We all have our things, so what's to do with your secret? Okay, look at me, because people usually look at me. Do you see the way that you're looking at me? If they believe at me, they think I'm damaged or freakish. If they don't, I'm loony or a faker. But maybe you may be too big of a deal with it. I mean, okay, we all have a some strong sense of intuition. No, this is more than just an intuition. <coughs> Whatever okay. it is. You're not the only one. That with strong feelings. And mine, at the moment, are mostly hostile, so watch out for that echo. And bottom line is... Science. It's gonna say that, though. Not some hocus. Okay.